Hey guys, Tech Mentor with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix a common issue that you might have encountered or may encounter in the future with your iPhone around your phone number not appearing on your iMessage or FaceTime whenever you're doing FaceTime or iMessage on your iPhone. Now, it's a common issue that might occur or might not, but it's good to know how to fix that issue. And there's multiple ways to troubleshoot this and fix this issue because it could be because of multiple reasons, which we'll go down here in the list and show you how to try each of them. So first thing first is what we're, we're really talking about. So if you go into settings here and then you go to messages here, what will happen is under iMessages, so if we click on send and receive, so let me just hide the number here. But basically in send and receive, you should see is a phone number and your Apple ID as well. So you should be able to receive your iMessage and send iMessages from your email and phone number as well. However, if you're not able to do that or your number doesn't appear there, you need to figure out how to fix that. So how can you fix that? First thing first is you're going to turn on and off iMessage. So go ahead and turn off iMessage, give it a moment and then we're going to turn it back on and then you'll see here it will try to readdress that issue and you should see now if you click again your phone number appear and we're going to be moving on to the next thing now if you're having the same thing now moving on to the next thing is going to be facetime if you're having issues with the facetime we want to do the same thing so we'll go ahead and click on facetime so once you click on facetime you'll see here your phone number and ID again this time we're going to turn off and on FaceTime here so we're going to go ahead turn it off just like that and then turn it back on and you should be able to do that and again and it will do the same thing and you should see your number appear if it didn't appear before now moving on to the next thing that you want to do after you have done the turn off and turning on your iMessage and FaceTime, it's going to be actually going ahead and completely signing out of your Apple ID if you're still not seeing your number. So to do that, you're going to go ahead and click on your Apple account here and go down here and this time you're going to sign out and then once you sign out, you want to sign back in basically to refresh the phone so that it picks up your number. Now, if you're still not working, the next thing you want to do, again, this time we're going to be again in the settings, and then we'll click on cellular. And in the cellular section, we're going to go ahead and turn off data, cellular data, turn it back on. Again, refreshes the network settings here. And then the next thing you want to do to troubleshoot the issue is going to be pulling down the control center here. Make sure that your phone carrier service is active and if it's active, it will show up that number. If you have no service, that means your phone service isn't working and probably the reason why the phone number isn't appearing on iMessage and FaceTime. But also to troubleshoot this, we're going to go ahead and turn off our cellular reception here, turn it back on, go to airplane mode, turn on airplane mo mode for a moment and then turn it back on and it should refresh your network here and you should see your service on your carrier. So those are going to be a couple things that you want to do. Now moving on to the next thing if you're still having issues with the phone number isn't appearing. Now you want to go into settings again and this time in the settings we want to go ahead and go to general and then in general we want to check the date and the time. So let's go ahead and click on date and time and you want to make sure you're on the right time zone. As you can see, we're in New York, but of course, wherever you are, you want to make sure you have the right time zone for your area. We're going to go ahead and turn off automatically and turn it back on. And when we do that, we want to take a look at the note, the actual time here. So you want to make sure that time is correct to your local time. So check with another phone or your clock to make sure that time is correct. Now, if that time isn't correct and it doesn't it's not able to set it automatically, you can also go ahead and manually set that. But you want to make sure that is correct as that could impact your phone not being able to pick up your phone number for iMessage or FaceTime. Now let's move on to the next thing you want to do if you're still having issues and numbers and appearing. It's going to be again in settings and this time we're going to go to general and then scroll all the way down on iOS 6, 15 here. We're going to go to transfer or reset phone. We're going to click on that and we're going to do a reset here. Now before you click on anything, we want to do the second option where it is net 
re network settings reset. Now this will kind of reset the network on the phone. But before you do that, a cautious thing about this is that if you do that, your phone, all the password for Wi-Fi, if you had VPN set up, any of that will be completely erased. So before you do that, make sure that you know what that will do. It won't delete your photos, videos, apps, data, or anything like that on information on your phone. Just the setting that is related to network and it will refresh the network like if you're having issues with connectivity and generally that's why the number might not appear. So go ahead and do that by simply clicking on that and it will say do you want to do it to factory or you're going to click on that again. It won't delete your personal data like photos, videos, apps, just will delete your Wi-Fi and any VPN settings that you have. So before you do that, check, make sure that you're okay with that. Now, moving on to the next thing, if you're still having issues, it's gonna be to do a force restart on your iPhone. So how do you do a force restart? So on iPhone 8 and above, you're gonna go ahead and press and release the volume up and then volume down, and then hold this big side button on your right hand side and if Siri pops up, that means we weren't quick enough. So we want to be very quick on pressing and releasing volume up, volume down, and then big side button. And now you don't want to touch the screen where it says slide to power up because we're looking to do a force restart. We're just going to wait till the phone goes completely black and we see the Apple logo appear. So once the Apple logo appear, we let go of that big side button and that is doing a force restart again this method will not delete any data or anything like that it's simply just getting the phone to do a fresh reboot so if there's any software glitches or bug it will resolve those and fix your phone and hopefully by now you should have fixed your phone and that shows up now if you're still having issues the next thing you want to do is go into settings go to general and then software update and check to see if you have a software update that you need to install. Sometime a previous version that was installed might be there might be an issue or bug. So you want to go ahead and download the latest version of the software. If it's available, all you do is simply click download and install. And then you want to make sure you have either a good cellular data or if you have internet, make sure you're connected to a good Wi-Fi internet settings. And basically you'll go ahead and download it and connect it to a power source. So once you have done all of that, we're pretty much going to be set. And if you're still having issues with it, which hopefully you're not, you're going to want to do a full backup and factory reset, which we explain in another video that you want to check out. So hopefully these tips help you guys resolve the issue where your phone number isn't showing up on your iMessage and FaceTime. If this video is helpful, make sure that that like and subscribe button and also do tell us which method worked for you. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.